All right, we are live. Uh, sorry for the delay. Off to a bad start. Like the connection was awful today. And uh, yeah, Let me just close that. There we go. Okay, uh, let's pick up where we left off yesterday. I will also. Yeah. So we have the voice as well. So yesterday we we just came about writing this uh, abstraction here. This uh, render aware unique footer. That's the unique footer that is aware of the render. It gets the deleted and manages manages the lifetime. So that's what we're going to do. We, we're going to use everywhere. So the problem with that was that it resulted in code like this. It's a humongous code right there. So uh, changing this abstraction to a from using to a class is going to probably fix this issue for us. So today I'm going to do that. So this is going to be a struct instead of a instead of simple and it's gonna inherit from unit putter instead of a simple uh, using I'm going to make it a struct and yeah it's going to just construct the construct our unit putter so let's let's just write that then <coughs> sorry for that so hmm. so let's see let's see how we're actually constructing these uh, here's a constructor so that is a call to our uh creator so what i'm going to do my input is going to be the render the creator and of course whatever else variables we need so that's going to be a variadic one there and that should be it i believe that's gonna fix all that there is to be fixed all right, back here. So the constructor is going to take a render put a render reference, render, all right, and then it is going to take a functor, which is creator functor. So yeah, I'm kind of starting abruptly, like I'm not explaining what we did before. So the idea is we're trying to write a new example for this uh, the the engine, and uh, the way I'm going about that is to actually provide proper abstraction, proper C++ abstraction for us. So that is what we're doing here. So this is my render class here, and it is, it's called IVIP render, and it is providing uh, simple interfaces, like as much as is absolutely necessary. All right, so we're gonna cat, we're gonna get our functor by by universal reference, same as our arguments. And what shall I do here? I shall ask. Yeah. So, and that's almost that. So, doing that, we need to 
construct our parent here. Maybe I do need to use in here. Yes. Alright, that's our base there, and yeah, we are inheriting from our base. Then we're going to construct our base just accordingly. And yeah, so this is good. I do not like the code side here, anyways. It's, it's not working as well. Alright, so it's, it's time to construct this. So we have our render, our functor, which is going to be creator functor and that is going to be our arguments that is going to be passed to our creator functor which I believe is proper now okay furthermore what we need to do is yeah I'm gonna rename this to creator creator functor that goes there. Things look good. Right? So, what you need to do now is a copy paste, which is going to be this. I hope that looks <laughs> all right. I do not like this kind of uh, code style that you just add another add another tab every time you break. It doesn't really help with the readability of the code, but I guess that's what we're stuck with. So, anyways, glitter. That is this glitter right there. And let's see what this is actually doing. I'm gonna copy this, paste it right here. Not even gonna look at it. Right? Also, one other thing that I'm going to do this time is remove this because we don't need it, this abstraction anymore. That's gonna simplify some stuff for us. And yeah, then everything is fine. I'm gonna use general initialization here. You will see the use of that later. Things look good, except that this should be our functor here. This should be our T there. And the creator, deleter, deleter type, everything is fine. Render is there as it should be. Why is our render aware object creator taking a pointer to the. Yeah, we don't need to. So as you can see, we are just eliminating all the I know, all the pointers. Uh, we are going to do all our references. Like if you see the engine code, there are all assertions on whether the render is actually null or not, or whether it is available. Uh, that kind of code is just going to slow down your code and going to be a pain to debug later. You never need to worry about a reference being invalid. Because that's our contract there. Anyways, 
uh, render blah blah Q descriptor is going to be our args args passed like so except we need a step forward here like everywhere args and the lines are getting long long I tell you same with this for in that no need to take a pointer to that stood forward I haven't included the uh, utility but I believe the, the forward is in the utility uh, header I haven't included that so that is one thing to have in mind and do later anyways that's how the code looks gonna do a break there and ask ask it to yeah seems to not want to do any any format in there so that is because we have an issue I guess or not we do not have an issue anyways this this is the code this is all that there is to it I know this is a hell to read like what the hell is just happening here so I'm constructing my unique Twitter base and it is going to need a deleter of render aware deleter object deleter which is this that is being constructed like so and furthermore we have here this this code maybe that was issue I don't know anyways this code here this is uh, our render aware object creator it is just calling our functor here so maybe we do not need our uh, creator functor anymore like this level of abstraction could be maybe removed but I do not think so yeah we're gonna stick with that let's just see our interfaces and make sure that everything is just alright which seems to be yeah uh, let's see if this compiles uh, it's it's not a bad idea to see yeah it's not gonna compile of course uh, let's see what the problem is identify unique putter uh, what's wrong with that okay yeah 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 I'm missing it equal there and what is this one saying T putter blah 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 cannot convert argument to from putter to reference so uh, there's this one yeah I do not want to do that uh, that is so and Ah, uh, yeah. What, what is the issue here? Cannot convert from T putter to render. Did we change any interfaces here? Oh yeah, yeah. We did change interfaces. So now this represents something completely differently now. Uh, the constructor is going to take only the render, the creator functor, and arguments. So yeah, yeah. We're we're doing lots more here so uh, render creator we do not need this level of abstraction anymore that there this should compile yeah we just uh, moved our complexity somewhere else let's see what the error is uh, cannot convert uh, argument 1 from void to blah blah 
uh, void what to render oh yeah render comes first you are correct sir and So stood null putter, what is this? Cannot convert argument one to two null putter. Who's asking that? Alright, what else? Cannot convert argument two from render putter to render ref. Argument two from render putter to render ref. Where is my render? Okay, okay, yeah. And it compiles. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can properly close this. Yeah, uh, we, did not, we did not crash. So, yeah. The idea is we have all the complex code in this little thing there. Which is, yeah, this. And then uh, from there on, we're just gonna use this silky smooth, simple interface. Now, now let's see what else here we need. Graphics queue. All right, we need a. Okay, I'm gonna just start constructing these. Next is pool. And how are we going to construct? Well, of course, we're going to pass it to renderer. And so, some of you might be wondering like, how is the performance pro uh, characteristics of this code? The performance characteristics are going to be somewhat bad because we are actually increasing the size of each of these by a uh, reference, by the, size, by the size of a reference which is almost like let's say uh, 64 bits there so yeah we're like increasing the size of these queues pools everything by by the size of the pointer and that is going to not help with our cache so yeah we're putting 64 more bits every time into the cache and that is not cache friendly also we're just referencing these putters which is now not a single pointer, so it's multiple pointers, pointers, and we are re referencing multiple pointers, and the compiler probably are is not going to uh, realize that all those pointers are the same, so it's gonna re reference them every time instead of like realizing that they are actually the same thing and referencing it once. Uh, that is not gonna be an issue here. Uh, because I don't think this part of the code is going to be actually CPU bound and we probably have enough CPU time to do those so I'm going for better interface here for now than CPU time and of course if we like uh, provide uh, make sure that this is a proper interface for the engine we could later on like r remove some of the complexities that are caused uh, because of the bad interface that was provided to us by the C interface and that will help us to like simplify the code this in this interface in this implementation and that could help hypothetically to like uh, improve the CPU uh, performance anyways let's just finish our job here we have that pool there we're going to pass it to renderer and then we're going to pass it I'm not sure if we actually need to make that a reference add command pool is going to be there what else do we need we need a uh, command pool descriptor let's see what the type of what that type is so it's just a Q and M transit so I would be 
able to just pass it the way I did here. Is that a reference? Yeah, that is a reference. Yeah, this is just not helping really. They're like making this code a hell difficult, more difficult than it actually needed to be. Like, why would you get that by pointer? Yeah, I realized that you would you wouldn't want to like copy this, but what is the size of this? The size of this is 128 bits. You're copying 128 bits of so what? And this is not in a performance critical section of the code either. So just getting this by pointer is causing me a lot of pain here. Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. So we're going to get a const command pull descriptor there. Command pull descriptor. I am not sure if I need one. No. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This sucks. The problem I have now is you're still missing a layer of abstraction. That is our problem. You are still missing a layer of abstraction. Let me just check how the draw works, like the commands and stuff. One of my worries right now is that that stood array is going to be a pain. It just could be. Okay, yeah, we're we're safe for now. Anyways, so what what I was checking there is that we do not have a contiguous uh, array of commands anymore. So if any interface is going to need that, we are in somewhat bad trouble. We're not in that much of a bad trouble. We're just gonna make an array in the stack, copy in, copy out, blah blah. But yeah, that's not going to be an issue, as I just checked. But the layer of abstraction I was talking about that we're missing right now is that these require references. So these can pointers. So these cannot be temporary values. That's a problem. That is a problem. So how are we going to fix that? One idea would be that I would just take a reference to whatever that was passed to me. I take a pointer, and that is not a, a good idea, really, because I'm not sure, like, if all their interfaces are going to take pointers. Like, if they were sensible, sensible somewhere and they didn't take pointers. Maybe that's going to work. I don't know. Maybe. 
check their ad interfaces. Maybe that's that's what I need to do. Let's enable our regex here at A to Z. At match that to me. I don't want it. Yeah. That seems to be. That seems to work. So I might be able to do just so. Maybe. So what I'm doing right now is looking at all the ad inter interfaces which we're going to support by that abstraction and I'm just checking that all their parameters are pointers which seemingly that is the case except this add page what is it it's undefined yeah we might wanna we might wanna later on later on take care of that separately but for now we are seemingly just fine so what I'm going to do is add another layer of abstraction that that is just nice isn't it that is just delightful god kill me now yeah my layer of my next layer of abstraction is going to be on this or maybe not, screw it not screw that that is the way we're going yep that is the way I'm going we'll figure out if we need anything different later on so that is going to cause me let me just give that extra bit of code there that is gonna cause me issues here not there but here from actually and that's another problem right there Yeah. So uh, let me just expand on that, like what I'm doing here. So my issue was that all of these uh, add blah blah fun uh, functions are taking pointers as their arguments, and that causes me issue because I will not be able to pass them any temporaries anymore because you cannot have a pointer to a temporary unless you you make sure that the lifetime of that temporary is going to ex ex exceed the life the use use of that pointer which I cannot in this case because what I want to do is I want to create a temporary and pass it right to the constructor so yeah the issue was so was that so what I did here was to make that make a const a reference argument which is going to uh, 
make sure that my it is going to make sure that my temporary is going to leave long enough uh, and it is going to later on take a refer take a pointer to that argument so yeah that is what that, that piece of code did just there and then I am gonna copy this remove that so I was doing that same thing here so this second uh, constructor was uh, guaranteeing me my lifetime which I no more need that code should compile I'm not saying it is going to but it should I am kinda hopeful maybe this is going to be it uh, maybe this is going to compile and maybe that is going to be all the abstractions that we're going to need for the rest of this project hopefully that is that is the case hopefully add command pool and this is going to be add command that is just that let's go to this I'm hoping that yeah, the first argument is actually pool command pool. Alright, so yeah, graphics queue. That is going to be queue that gets, and this is going to be pool that gets. I am ho hoping that this is going to compile and work. Okay, it didn't compile. Uh, why is that? Cannot convert command pool to command descriptor. Command pool po pointer to command descriptor. Where is that happening? Here. Firstly, yeah, you are correct. All right, we got it to compile. That was that was fun. And we have 40 minutes in, we have 20 minutes, so let's just remove this, like so. That is going to, oh, okay, I, I, I pasted it in the wrong context there, okay. I'm going to put it here, and now I'm going to remove that. That is our render where deleter, that is a simple thing there. <laughs> Stop compiling. Why is that? Oh, yeah, 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 you are correct. This doesn't exist anymore. Hello, we're compiling. And I am, I'm kind of sure that we are actually. Let's, let's make sure that we are. Am I allowed to include? Are you stream here? I don't think so. I don't think I'm allowed to. All right, let's let's just put a po breakpoint here. Why not? Uh, we are using Visual Studio on Windows. One thing that is good on Windows is the fact that we have good debuggers. All right, where where is my watch list? Thank you for not having anything in you. uh-huh yep that is that is just what I expected that is nice is this not initialized is this actually not initialized let's move here did initialize yeah it seems like it's been initialized let's just make sure though Thank you for being. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are working. We are working, sir. Yeah, that was fun. So that is our final abstraction there. This is what we're going. This is the syntax that we're going to use here and after. Just tell them what the deleter is. 
and you are done and in construction you're just going to give it the render and what the this is the construction syntax that is nice we could we should we should have been able to go simpler had we have C++ 17 which we don't at the moment this point of the code could be removed so it would be as succinct as we need it to be anyways yeah let's move on let's move on we will be just that is all the that is all the infrastructure we needed so we will be sprinting from here on we will be running if i actually okay yeah so we got the commands going we need some fences easy easy to do maybe these fences should have been in that object let me see image count so we are we are creating image uh, what is this image required sample which is what is this oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At silver, that is interesting. Just one, one exactly one more. And why is that? Where are these actually used? Uh, that is what is bugging me right now. So as you can see here, render target, swap chain, command queue, these are actually like kind of grouped together. I'm going to instantiate one of each one of these per command queue. But I don't I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Image image required sample? for what is image required? Ooh. Image required is being passed to that. I will kinda maybe maybe we are going to have our swap chain as an object as an entity of itself but for now i'm just going to add a semaphore and a single a semaphore and a fence so we need a render target semaphore and fence hmm. And how are these actually constructed? So we're getting that from swap chain. So that's not what we're constructing, I believe. I'm hoping. But these. And where are these actually used? So it is used with the queue. So if you want to submit them, that is how we're submitted. Rather complete fence. <laughs> yeah, why not? It, it is of virtually no cost to us just to add those. So why not? Let's go about it. So we want a semaphore. I don't know what their implementation of semaphore is. Fence. And what else do we need here? Remove semaphore, I believe. Remove semaphore. That should be something. 
this is remove fence so I guess you can already see how easy how, how much easier this has gotten and proper constructors for him So yeah, that is how we're going to do. I'm not gonna worry about them being deleted or not. Well, actually, yeah, I'm worried about why I'm getting an error here. Oh yeah. That's it. We're creating some servers and we're removing them when we actually need to remove them. Sounds fine to me. I'm gonna move these up here because these are going to be used in queue so <coughs> queues may be holding fences or semaphores <coughs> by uh, this order of construction uh, I am just literally telling them that you need to let go of your semaphores and fences before actually removing them that is beautiful that is what it is to me like I see this code I like it I can read this code easily you have a semaphore, a fence, a queue, a pool that is how they're constructed simple elegant I love it I love this code anyways let's let's move on with the code we are going to like need to we, I'm gonna yeah what I'm going to do is go as un, unstructured as possible so that we can see the big picture and then we're going to just uh, extract structures out of that so this one line I'm going to add to those here that means that we haven't uh, implemented this one line so I guess I'm going to go as far as rendering one single uh, skybox. That is going to be all I'm going to do. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm not sure like what this is. Inner resource loader interface. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this does. In its resource loader interface. Huh. Ah. 
Alright, alright, look at this. Look at this interface. We can pass nulls here as synchronization tokens. Add resource. Could just as well pass the synchronization token and not wait on it. Yes. And wait on it, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna wait on it. We need to wait on it. Anyways. Gonna call that directly here. It's moving that to construction. So this add resource thing is bothering me right now. Uh, the possibility of like this add resource does not work with this abstraction we just made here. Maybe it shouldn't be because we're not removing resources, are we? Do we have a remove resource? Don't. <clears throat> so I believe there's no actual actual lifetime being managed here. So it, it is fine. It is fine. It is actually fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on with our lives here. Let's just. Make them globals, maybe members. Because they are actually members. So I'm not sure if this is actually part of the render interface. I'm just trying to get the bigger picture here. So yeah, I agree that this part of the code is ugly. It couldn't get uglier, to be honest. Like with the with this and these, it couldn't get uglier. But the result is here. The meat of the code is clean. It's as clean as possible. We have 56 minutes in. Let's just let's just finish this off. Complete time is not a lot. What the hell is complete time? I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Oh, damn. Put it right there. And what else do we need there? Skybox textures. Compile what happened here? Ignore, retry. What the hell just happened? Both. So we are raising some issues here. Some allocations were not free. Yeah, of course, some allocations were not free. 
what allocations we're not read we have some allocations here right there you mean those this resource manager is really going to be difficult to it's going to be difficult to abstract like if I'm going to need anything like this here, that is going to be a pain. Why could they not just not could they not just use the same interface? What is this resource descriptor anyway? Texture load descriptor. Add resource. We have multiple overloads of that. Why could they not just obey? Why could they not just obey what their interfaces were like before? But they could have taken the I don't know, I don't know. This is resource loader. This is the resource loader. We prob probably are going to need another level of layer of abstraction over this. I am sick of this already. We will see, we will see, we will see, we will see about that. Uh, I'm not sure if we're actually going to use these in, construct in constructors. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to like add resources in constructors. So we don't really need to manage their lifetimes like we did here. Like this uh, unique pointer that manages the lifetime for semaphores or whatever that the render offers for whatever render, repose, render res resource we have. You probably don't want to do that for our uh, for our resource loader. Let's move on. Let's move on and see. Yeah, get a get a look at the big picture first. Maybe we'll figure out a proper way of abstracting that code. Anyways, let's get back to our init function. I am just trying to like, render a simple simple. The skybox maybe. Okay, we did that. We went that far. We haven't done this code. And virtual joystick. Circle pad. Cir circle pad. R D blah blah. Could not ensure virtual joystick. Do I want virtual joystick? Probably not. Not going with that. Skybox. Okay. These are shader load descriptor. So yeah, add shader. Add shader can use our unique footer abstraction here. I'm wondering if that abstraction needs to leave outside. So what I'm going to do is add another our first actual interface. Uint footer maybe is what I'm going to do. Your int footer that is not going to be nice. So what do I want to do? Let's do it your int footer. So what I'm my int let's 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 decide on this later. Okay, add shader. And what is this add shader going to do? It is going to take a shader descriptor. Is that what the type was? So it is taking a shader descriptor, shader load descriptor, that's it. Shader load descriptor, and it is adding me a shader, and it is returning a handle to that shader. So whenever I want to use this shader, I'm going to use this handle. So that is my interface with my user. Shader descriptor. So one thing that concerns me is that I want the user to be able to quickly access the shader. 
and I also want to load this interface void putter remove shader so I am handling the lifetime but I am also allowing the user to preemptively like remove the shader before it is actually necessary so shader handle so I'm just giving the choice here to the user by this interface and I'm just telling it alright do whatever you need to do I don't care if you want to remove the shader I will remove it for you but how would I implement that that is my big question here so one way would be that I would have an unordered map of let's let's bring unordered map here uh, why am I typing this I'm bringing an unordered map from ESTL ordered map and what I'm going to do is so have a map of handles on order map of handle which is sit uh yeah sit unit PDR you will see why I'm choosing unit PDR as my handle uh as I implement these functions and a unique pooler ASTL unique pooler of course not this unique pooler but rather that one and what this unique pooler is going to take is going to be shader and decal type of remove shader and the remove shader itself and that is that so we have an unordered map of uh, uh, unordered map of shaders which sh we are managing their lifetime that is my shaders and of course this is gonna probably bark at me that unit PDR is not hashable there is no std hash for unit, unit PDR maybe ASTL has actually implemented uh, hash for unit PDR but I from what I believe std doesn't have hash for unit PDR anyways what I'm going to do here is just going to be in place gonna Pass it to render. Oh, not that. Render putter. Dot get. And then I believe this could be const here. What else? And yeah, we need to pass it the add shader. Add shader and then we need to pass the shader descriptor so that is going to give me and that's going to uh, sorry I just lost connection uh, okay uh map is probably not the best option for us here i'm gonna pick this up tomorrow i'm not gonna uh put much time on this my internet connection is not good either so yeah i'm gonna pick this up tomorrow so what i'm trying to do here i'm gonna i'm trying to like make a mapping from the handle to the shader so the handle is going to be the pointer to the shader so if i want to like do any uh, fast mapping of the handle to the shader. I'm just gonna reinterpret cast that unit PDR to the shader type and use that wherever I need. 
So that is why I'm using you in PDR because you can hold the pointer in it. And that way I will be I will have a fast way of like zero cost way of actually mapping the handle to the shader. However, uh, to remove my shader, I need another kind of mapping because the UNPDR is not going to be e enough to find my uh, shader inside whatever container I'm, I'm storing it. So, for example, I could be storing my shader in an unordered map like so. Uh, I would need to use that UNPDR to find my shader to remove it in this call. So this this interface is actually the problem we have right now. Uh, there are multiple ways of handling that. I could like uh, construct my shader here, like the unique footer to my shader. I could construct it here, and then move it to the to the to the container. That way, I would have the key, and I would be able to like emplace it there. <coughs> Sorry. However, that is not that beautiful. That is not the beautiful code that I'm expecting. So maybe I will be able to find a proper way of doing that. If I can, well, I will just stick with that. The reason I don't like that is that I need to re rewrite this whole type here once again. Which is not desirable. So th let's just let's just do that and see what happens. I know I just said that I'm going to finish this for now, but hey, what do you know? All right, our shader. This is our shader. Let's call it shader footer just so that you know it's a footer. And this is how we're constructing that footer. Just so in place that gets going to be reinterpreted cast it to UNPDR. I better do it right here. Alright, that is my get there, and that's my key. So this is what I'm going to be returning. My key right there. So this key can be reinterpreted, casted to back to uh, shader pointer. So that is why I'm using that key, that as it as the key. And we will need to sit move this. So sit move is not that good, of, that much of a good idea there. Uh, but that is what we need here. And then I'm going to call this erase, I believe. Erase. Let's see the overload. Let's be consistent. Maybe that, maybe that is the code. Let's try it right here.
I do the name of the interface, but what's that shape? It is. And what's the problem? Oh yeah. Course render pointer to render we cannot do such a thing, but who is? Yeah, I oh, am. Yeah. yeah, that worked. That worked. So yeah, the reason I don't like this code is that I am uh, completely retyping this rewriting this type there I don't like like that is a code duplicate no matter how small it is a code duplicate and yeah that is partly why I hate it other reasons are the need for this is to move here and stuff like that but this works for now maybe later <coughs> I will try to optimize that. So the neat thing about this is that I will be able to like uh, resolve my shader with literal zero cost from my handle. I will just reinterpret cast my handle to the shader. So the the reason I'm using unit PDR is that I'm just telling the I'm just uh, telling the user that you don't have to manage any kind of lifetime I am managing all the lifetime that needs to be managed <coughs> anyway I guess that's enough for today we've gone 15 minutes over time I guess we started 15 minutes late so maybe that is exit for that so yeah uh, that's it for today thank you for watching see you next time